I'm Ross Sestin from Spiritual Phoenix Studios, and we are on day four of the 40 Servants Introduction Ritual, and today we are going to be introduced to the Adventurer. All right, welcome back, everybody. Ross Cessna from Spiritual Phoenix Studios. Real quick, I'm going to ask you to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment. Uh, just as we're getting started, if you have any questions that come up, please do that. We are on the adventurer today, uh, be, but before we get into that, I wanted to talk about my experiences with the saint, because uh, there was a couple more interesting ones that came up. Um, again, there was the presence that I felt when meditating. Real quick, too, you might hear a weird noise there's a little guest in the studio today she is chewing her bone underneath the microphone uh, this is Renji if you aren't familiar say hello Renji and she's awesome <laughs> but she can be noisy um, but anyhow so I felt the presence of a saint when meditating um, I had a further conversation with Raul found out that I had been misspelling Raul it's R-A-O-U-L um, and honestly, when I, I plucked away at that in uh, the one Kabbalah book that I have that kind of breaks down the numerology, I looked at all the different variations of it. Uh, there was an interesting interpretation of where I could be at within the uh, pathway of the tree of life. Uh, I thought that was kind of fascinating. Uh, there was this deeper visualization. There was also this uh, really big idea that I was kind of gifted and it ties into the studying that I'm doing now and how I can utilize a lot of that information after the fact. I'm not going to give away too much information on it at this point because I don't want to spoil the surprise. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, it was just a really cool experience, right? And I'm super excited to see kind of how the uh, energy of the adventurer comes up. I already changed the wallpaper on my phone to have the adventure on there. And then even since doing that, like there's been a lot of weird little sinks popping up. So I'm curious what happens after we do the ritual and like what goes on next, right? So with that being said, we're going to start the ritual for the adventurer and I will chat with you then. All right, so welcome to the day four ritual. Uh, we are on with the adventurer. Renji is here with me, so you might hear some little pug noises. Uh, I apologize that, but that's the the perks of having a uh, sidekick who's willing to help is that occasionally they might get a little rambunctious. So we're going to light the two candles first. I don't know why this one is giving me a hard time. There we go. And then we are going to light the blue candle. And Renji is over here licking my hand liberally. And we are going to light the... I would not recommend reaching over the uh, candle like I just did. And we're going to light the charcoal briquette for the incense. I just realized my incense spoon is right here okay it's still close good and then we're gonna light the palo santo so i've done a couple things different this time as you can see i rearranged the positioning of the cards i have it so you can see the uh, incense burner i've moved some of the stones that were in the back forward there's smoky quartz behind that cup, and there's shungite over here. Um, I have the angelite underneath the saint still. There's a piece of selenite by him, a piece of quartz. There's a piece of selenite between the two harmonubuses. Um, there's banded agate for the adventurer. And the reason that I put the banded agate there is the uh, banded agate or uh, Botswana agate is uh, good for courage and... That's kind of something that we want. It's also good for breaking ties with like a mentor, um, which is something that I had to do somewhat recently. And I think that in some terms for going on a good adventure, we need to break ties with our old understanding. And I think that could be a form of a mentorship as well. Um, I got the tea. The tea is the ginger. I just think ginger is very fiery. Um, so it's good for an adventurer i feel like um 
and we're gonna look at the incenses that we have before we get going. So we're gonna use communication again for the saint, uh, just because he is the intermediary, highly based on communication. It's logical, I think, to be using that incense. Um, and then for the adventurer, we have courage. Uh, courage has sandalwood in it, which I really appreciate. And there's also, also uh, juniper berries, um, which is associated with, um, this kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. This is all off the cuff, so you're going to have to roll with it, right? Okay. <laughs> so with all of that being said, um, we're going to throw the communication incense down first. Then we're going to pour the tea. Then we're going to do the ritual and then we'll uh, put some of the courage on afterwards. Okay, communication is going. Put that back there. Okay, then we're gonna pour the tea. And if I had three cups, I would have a cup myself. I have a cup of coffee over on the side that I can tap into later. Anyhow, I call on you, great servant, the saint, to come to me so that I may know you. I am Ross Cessna, the master and ruler of this domain. I call on you here so that you can introduce me to the servant, the adventurer, who is known for adventure and excitement. Oh, great servant, the saint, Bring the adventurer forth so that I may recognize her, and in return, she will recognize me as her friend and master. Ever obey me, great servant, the adventurer, and ever please me. In return, I will offer you acknowledgement and sustenance so that your energy, potency, and fame may increase. Give me a sign that you have heard my call and have come forth to welcome me as your master and friend. I make these offerings as a thanks to both of you. So we have the communication on there. We have the courage I'm adding now. We have the tea that we offered them. The saint has his stone. The adventurer has this little banded agate, gray banded agate. That courage intense smells really good. We're going to burn a little bit more Palo Santo. And I'll meditate on this a little bit later myself. Okay, now let's go discuss what the adventurer is about. Those whole ritual things go so much quicker than I expect, man. Um, but anyhow, we are introduced now to the adventurer. I'll report any sinks that happen. Let me tell you a little bit about the adventurer. Um, so in my understanding, the basic premise of her energy is explore, adventure, experience, like get out and see new things, get out, uh, make new habits, try new stuff, like... Uh, exist beyond the comfort zone. Uh, as far as her mantra, life is an adventure is the mantra for her. I like it. Keywords are adventure, excitement, accelerate, astound, energize, intensify, going out, rouse, amaze, provoke change, motivate, enliven. All of those are pretty exciting things, and they really kind of add uh, an intense energy to everything. I might even sprinkle some amplify on the uh, the burner here when I'm done reading this. Um, and then the prayer for the adventurer is, O oh, great servant, the adventurer who is famed for her power to excite, I call on you to come to my aid in order to break me out of the rut that I currently find myself stuck in. May my life be an adventure. 
And with that being said, uh, we're just going to mention real quick who we're going to be chatting with tomorrow. And if you haven't already, like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out some of the other videos that I have too. Um, and tomorrow we will be introducing the balancer. So stay tuned to check that out. And I look forward to going on uh, to meet the balancer with you tomorrow. Peace.